Okay, we're in serious crunch time for the holiday season and I still had a couple of things left to make. Uh, so in this video, I'm gonna uh, forego the laser work because I have a CNC project to make and it's this. It's a, it's a nice pen box and inside is a, is a pen and pencil set. And you can see it's got nice uh, felt lining in it. So I'll show you how to make one of these and uh, hopefully you, you find that interesting. So let's get going. How's it going everybody? Steve here and welcome back to the shop. As I mentioned, I'm making a pen and pencil set. Uh, I didn't actually make the pen and pencil. I had my brother do that. He turns, uh, he turns pens and pencils, uh, a lot of them actually. So uh, his skills far, far outweigh mine in, in that regard. Uh, but what I wanted to do is make the pen box and uh, it's for a friend uh, for the holiday season. So I need to get it finished and get it, get it delivered. And what I'm going to do is make it out of some upcycled uh, wood that I recovered from a, a renovation project. Uh, this wood is Bubinga. You can go look it up. And uh, it's exceedingly hard. It's very, very heavy. And, uh, but the beauty is it, it machines really nicely with a CNC router. And when you sand it down, you can sand it to a mirror finish. You can go right down to like 2000, 2500. Uh, grit sandpaper and it just keeps getting shinier and shinier so uh, I'll do a little bit of that and then I'll finish it off with a bit of um, either mineral oil or walrus oil uh, I didn't want to put clear coat on it because it would inevitably the finish wouldn't look nearly as nice so uh, with that let's get started we'll do a bit of fusion design and then push it over into v-carb to create some tool paths and uh, then push it out to the onefinity and then put it together it'll be a quick project all right, so I hopped into Fusion here to get started, and you can see this is a very simple sketch. It's a, basically a rectangle that's 160 millimeters long and 60 millimeters wide, and then I put two slots in it. There's also these two holes at the back. I'm not actually going to extrude those in Fusion. I'll do that over in V-Carve when I port this over. And again, you could use V-Carve to do this entire thing if you didn't mind having extra tool paths, or you could also do it in Fusion and, and define the tool paths in Fusion. I tend to use the combination of both because I like Fusion for drawing, but not the tool paths, and I like V-Carve for the tool paths, but not so much the drawing. So I use both. Anyway, that's the design. And if you look at the actual extrusion here, you can see there's a 45 degree bevel at the back. And this is so that when you open these two lids, uh, they actually open up and stop at 90 degrees. And right along this, this crest uh, is where we'll put those two holes for the barrel hinges. Inside here, you can see, you can see the slots and uh, this entire thing is 14 millimeters thick and again we'll create exactly two of these and they're, they're both the same so you don't have to worry about a top and a bottom or anything crazy uh, anyway i'll push this out i'll save it as a mesh and uh, push it over into v-carve and we'll do that now all right so i popped into v-carve here and rather than uh, drag you through creation of all of these things what i did was i imported my model which was the uh, image i showed you in fusion 360 and then inside v-carve i drew the outline of this which is really just all i have to do is select that and click the outline tool and that'll create an outline that's the right shape and uh, then i put a couple of circles on here for the barrel hinges now, as far as the tool paths, the first thing we're gonna do is a roughing cut, which, and let me pop over to the 3D view here and I'll show you what these look like. So the roughing cut will, will just be roughly cutting out those slots. And I left about three quarters of a millimeter of material here. And you can see it, it cuts out the two slots and a rough cut of the bevel. And then the next cut will actually cut out the perimeter of the pen box. And finally, we'll switch bits uh, to a ball bit. And uh, if we look at that one, all it's, it, it, it will do is kind of put the final finish on those. And then the last tool path is uh, to drill out those, those two holes. Now, as far as uh, speeds and feeds here, again, it's a quarter inch end mill. You can see I'm going uh, I'm taking about 0 0.025 inches per pass uh, with about 14% step over. Uh, speeds, 
the feed rate here is a, is 30 inches per minute. You could definitely go faster than that with a with a quarter inch end mill, but I have lots of time, so I don't really want to stress the bit too much. Uh, on the on the uh, cutout again, same same tool. We're still using the quarter inch end mill, so all the feeds are the same. Uh, in this case, we're we're kind of gouging out the perimeter. Uh, I did 14.25 millimeters just to make sure I get all the way through. I'm not going to put tabs on because this will be glued to the to the workspace, so uh, it's not going to move anyway. And uh, the finish cut I mentioned is a is a eighth inch ball bit, and the speeds here. Uh, the, uh, sorry, the uh, the step over is uh, about six percent. We're we're cutting out. Uh, well, three quarters of a millimeter wherever we, we left from the roughing cut. And the, the feed rate here is still 30. And again, because we're only cutting a quarter of an inch, you could go much faster than this, but I'm not gonna bother. And finally, the holes, uh, this is just a pocket tool path. Uh, we're going down nine and a quarter. The barrel hinges are a little, around 18 millimeters total length, so uh, nine and a quarter will get us uh, a nice comfortable spot. I'm not going to bother with with ramp plunges here because this entire move is a plunge and that's it. And if I play all the tool paths here, uh, you can see it does the roughing cut the way we expect it to and gouges out those slots down to, they're about nine millimeters deep coming from Fusion. And again, you could create these in, in V-Carve as well. Uh, you might actually even get a little better job, but I don't care about the smoothness here because I'm gonna put felt inside. And, uh, and there's our cuts. So that's the piece. And this'll take, uh, with, these, with these feeds that I've set, this'll take I don't know, probably an hour and a half to, to cut one of these out. But again, you could probably do it in, in half that time if you feel a little more aggressive on your tool bit. Uh, and that's it. So the last thing you have to do is just save all the visible tool or all the tool paths uh, to, to, I save them to multiple files. And again, two quarter inch end mill uh, tool paths, a tapered ball, and then an eighth inch end mill to cut out the holes. So I'll shove that over to my Onefinity and we'll start, we'll start cutting.
So as far as finishing, I'm just going to put a couple coats of walrus oil. I put one coat on already and you can see it actually turns out pretty nice. Uh, I also put some uh, felt in the inside. I, it's felt that's got a single sticky side on it and so it just presses in there and sticks. So, so for the walrus oil, I just take a little dab and just lightly put it on, let it soak in for a while and then uh, wipe it off after the, any excess. And this, you could, you could clear coat it as well, but I prefer the oil because if a pen box gets banged up, it's gonna, it's gonna need some rejuvenation. And with oil like this, you can just put another coat on. So that's it. Uh, last thing to do for the assembly is we'll put uh, these barrel hinges in. I'll either glue them with clear Gorilla Glue or with epoxy. Uh, either one will work fine. Uh, don't use CA because CA eventually gets brittle and, and your lid will uh, detach. These hinges, uh, the way I cut the, the hinge holes here, they're very tight so they fit in very snug and you kind of have to press them in a bit to, to get them in there. But I'll stick them in, put it together, and we'll be pretty much ready to go. So there you go, project's finished. You saw me assemble it there with a couple of barrel hinges. Uh, I didn't go through the labor of putting the felt in inside. Uh, I, I did get a bunch of felt uh, I bought online with uh, one side that uh, has adhesive on it. So I didn't, I could just literally peel it off and stick it. And now there was a lot of packing and, uh, uh, and cutting to do to, to get it to fit right but uh, in the end it looked pretty nice uh, and you know again what you get is a very nice pen box uh, this thing again it, because it's bubinga it's super heavy but you can see the grain on this stuff is amazing so uh, it finishes very well there is no no stain or, or no varnish on this at all this is just done with with oil and uh, it looks amazing. So anyway, hopefully you got something out of this video. As always, uh, I'll put a video up on the, up on the side here. Uh, go watch that if you're interested and, and I'll see you over there. Uh, otherwise, get out there and make your world and I'll see you next time.